Copy merged in Affinity Photo. What does it do? I've got a layer and a background layer. Go to the rectangle marquee tool or any of the other selection tools and create a selection greater than the top layer. So you've extended it beyond that blurred effect. So it's selecting part of the building and the other side. So go to edit and copy. Now go into select and deselect and then go back to edit and paste. However, all you get is the blurred part of the image. That was the top layer. That's been selected. The rest of the image that was also in that selection has been ignored. And that's the point of copy merged. So just go to copy merged and do exactly the same. Create another selection. And again, you can see beyond that blurred and the other side, that's also in the selection, as well as, of course, the layer that's selected. Go to edit and copy merged. Again, select and deselect, and then go to edit and paste. And this time what happens is you've got the entire selection that's been pasted in as a layer. So you've got the blurred effect as well as the clear area as well selected. You don't have to select any layer to use the copy merge. So you can have them all deselected. Again, go and create a selection. None, nothing's been selected. Go to edit and copy merged. And again, what will happen when you go and paste it, edit and paste, you will get the not blurred area plus the blurred plus the bottom bit that's not blurred as well.